For the next two days, I am going to be putting nothing but candy into my freeze dryer. I have had some requests for some freeze dried candy come in and I am just trying to get ahead of the curve and get some more candy on my shelf so I have it ready to go for when people are interested in buying my yummy candy. My candy shelf over here is getting a little bare. So <laughs> today we are gonna solve that problem by making some candy and I'm gonna take you guys along for the process, show you how we can do multiple runs in the freeze dryer back to back. We will of course do a taste test of all of the candy that we freeze dry today. We will attempt to get out in a beautiful Alaskan location to do our freeze drying taste test. But first, let me take you outside and show you how our weather looks today. It is not looking great. Out my front door, you can see it's nice and wet out here. It was super foggy when we first woke up. I mean, there's still definitely fog. There, normally there's a huge mountain right here that you can see and there's just nothing there. So we will see if we make it out somewhere later today for our taste test. Stay tuned. Hey guys, don't mind my wet hair. I am just getting myself ready for church. But this morning I want to get my first freeze drying run in and I am doing Nerd Dummy Clusters and Sour Skittles. I actually just got my oil changed for my freeze dryer. If you want to learn how to change your freeze dryer oil, it is super easy. I have a video where I show everything, um, all the steps on how to do it. I will tag that here. And let's get going on this fun day of freeze drying as much as I can. Let's get our freeze dryer set up for candy mode. We're gonna go into customize. These can be at zero because it just skips the freezing process. I turn my dry time to one, let's see, 145. And my dry time, I am gonna do three and a half hours for this batch. Normal dry mode, hit save, hit start. I typically aim for four hours for my candy videos. That's just what's worked well for me. But I'm trying to get in at least three batches today. So we're going for three and a half hours. All I need to do now is get my candy onto my trays. For this run, I am using my Harvest Right tray lids. I love these things. These are one of my favorite accessories that I have purchased for my freeze dryer. These snap on to your medium size trays. Well, you can get any size that you need for your freeze dryer, mine's a medium. But the amazing thing is that these can be used as a tray also, which I didn't even know when I purchased these but on the box it said it can also be used as a set of trays. So I love it. I've been using it for candy and it even kind of gives you little nice dividers when you want things divided up. So we are gonna use our lids for our trays for this candy run. do for these is just make sure that they're spread out because these are going to puff up a bit as do the skittles so it kind of works out one package of the sour skittles fits nicely on one tray so i got two of those my one bag of nerds clusters fit nicely on two trays so i am excited to see how these turn out our freeze dryer is just about ready so i just got to close the drain valve back here and then we are going to load up the trays. Okay, something totally funny just happened. It felt like something was staring at me from my window and <laughs> my neighbor's little kitty is right here. <laughs> Hi kitty. This is the sweetest cat. She just kind of roams around and likes to show up at our windows and our back door. Sometimes let her in the house. <laughs> kind of like having a pet without having a pet. But she is just a cute, sweet cat. Are you guys cat people? I know you either love ha cats or you don't love them. I don't know. I'm kind of an in-between person though. I think they, like this cat is so sweet, but I've always been too afraid to have a cat in my home because I don't know if it's going to be like a sweet cuddly cat or like one of those crazy mean cats so 
we don't have any pets right now. Maybe one day in the future, I finally like have big kids who are self-sufficient. I mean, for the most part, elementary aged kids. And I'm not ready to take on a more demanding little alive creature that is going to be hard to take care of. So maybe down the road right now, I am enjoying my self-sufficient little wonderful children. My candy is going. I will show you how these turn out at the end of the three and a half hours. And then we will get going on our next set of candy. I am going to have it ready already on another set of trays so that as soon as these come out, I can pop in the next batch. And that helps you just go quickly in between batches because you're not having to reset your whole freeze dryer. Also, if you want these trays, you can purchase these from Harvest Right. I have a link down in the video description that takes you to the Harvest Right website. It is my affiliate link. And all you do is once you're there, hit the shop button, hit accessories, and you can shop for tray lids or any other accessories that you are looking for. That's always there in the vid description below. I'll catch you guys in a flash. Here is the candy. You can see the nerds puffed up and the Skittles puffed up. We got four minutes left. I am going to get my next batch of candy ready to go so I can just swap them out super easy. I will show you on the screen how we go immediately to the next batch. My next batch of candy are Skittles. I've got original Skittles and I've got a couple bags of wild berry Skittles. These are one of my favorites. to fit most of the wild berry skittles i had a little bit left over in one of my bags i don't like overcrowding the trays with the skittles because when they're done they definitely tend to stick together and you kind of have to break each skittle apart as you package them i've seen some people where they just like put a ton on there but it just seems like a lot of work breaking them apart which i don't enjoy doing so i've got that my bigger family size bag of skittles fit great on my two trays here the wild berry was like one and three quarters of a bag. And you guys, I'm super bummed because Costco sold Skittles in this container and they were a super good deal, like $8.99 or something. And I used to always buy them there, but the last few weeks they have not been in stock. And I finally asked a Costco employee if they were gonna get them back and they said they do not have any on order. So they didn't think they were coming back, which was such a bummer because this was the best deal. Um, I got the bigger bag from Walmart, but it's just not as cost effective as the Costco ones were. Let me know, does your Costco still carry Skittles like this? If that's something you've ever purchased before, I would love to know. I can't buy them online or anything like that. So kind of bummed about that. The freeze dryer is ready. You can hear it chirping at me. So the middle selection says start a new candy batch. That is what, well first I'm opening the drain valve, okay. <laughs> That'll allow me to open the door. So as I pull out a tray, I am going to put in the next tray of candy. Up here at my freeze dryer, I'm gonna select start a new candy batch. Oh. I think what I did was fine. Okay, I think I, it just hit continue. I need to close my drain valve. I always select um, warm trays when I'm doing harder candies. The only thing I don't warm trays for is if things have like chocolate in them. Um, I don't need to add any extra time because Skittles are like the easiest candy to freeze dry. You can never mess them up. So that's all we got to do. And we're going to get these guys bagged up. Look how pretty. I love how the nerds look. They are so fun. And my Skittles. 
for packaging, I am going to use my Mylar candy bags that I really like. I will show you those once I get these gloves on. Oh my goodness. Hold. Okay, got the gloves on. I get these from Amazon. They're just the Mylar candy bags. I like that you can see what's in them and I can heat seal them on the top. And they have a reclosable zip top, which is nice. So I'm just gonna get these packaged up. My free dryer just kicked on for the Skittles that are going in there. And we are well on our way to our day full of candy free drying. Okay, I got them all bagged up. I ended up with about three and a half of the sour Skittles from those two packages. Um, I used some of my leftover stock to fill my fourth bag. And I've got three bags of Nerds Clusters. I had about a half of another bag that. We're just gonna save the extras for an epic freeze drying taste test at the end of the video. We are gonna taste everything that we freeze dry in two days power freeze drying run and vote on what is our favorite freeze dried candy. When I first learned about freeze dried candy, when I would see it at like markets and stuff that I would go to, I always thought it was like so expensive. But now that I make it myself, I realize the time and effort that goes into actually making the candy. I can see why the prices are what they are. So just keep that in mind next time you are supporting a local shop, at a holiday market or something. It takes a lot of time, love and energy and money to make this candy. So that's why they charge what they do. But it's so fun. It's a fun new way to eat treats and most people who try it just absolutely love it. It's super fun. Okay, Skittles are what's coming up on the docket next. I will catch you guys in a few to get those going and to find out what our next candy is gonna be. Okay, our Skittles are ready to come out of the freeze dryer. This is where I'm gonna end candy making for today, but tomorrow we are gonna make two more batches of candy. So stick around to see what we freeze dry tomorrow. To get these out, I just gotta open my drain valve. And I'm selecting defrost since I'm ready to be done with the freeze dryer for now. These turned out awesome, as they always do. My favorite ones are <laughs> these little guys. They like, it's like they're like spitting out their insides or something. I don't know, they're just so funny and cute. But what I mean by like how they stick together, I mean, you can see that they stick, but they just break apart easily and are delicious. So I'm gonna get these bagged up and I'll meet you back here in a sec. Okay, I got those done. I got six original Skittles and six wild berry Skittles. That was a successful freeze drying run. That's for sure. Bagging takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. And I just love my little sticker. It makes me happy. I had hoped to get in a third freeze drying run today, but just didn't happen. This mama is tired. We had a busy weekend, so for our church, we had a fish fry and I was in charge of planning it. And we had a last minute change of venue. We were gonna do it outside at this really fun park in our town, but the weather and wind was really bad yesterday. So we got together, decided last minute we should change it to indoors. So that required a lot more planning and things to figure out. So I'm tired and ready to go to bed. We got kids going back to school tomorrow and I'll be able to get the rest of my candy freeze dried. So we will finish tomorrow with my two more freeze drying runs of candy that I have for you guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you later. If you want to join me in making fun freeze dried candy, if this is motivating you to want to start a freeze dried candy business, or if you just want a freeze dryer for all the other millions of things that you can do with it, check out my video description below. 
that has my affiliate link with Harvest Strike Freeze Dryers. You can click there, hit the shop button. You can click there and see what Harvest Strike has to offer. When you purchase directly from my links, it supports me and this channel at no cost to you. And I am just so grateful when you choose to do that. Another way that you can support my channel is just by liking these videos, subscribing, leave interacting in my comment section below. That all helps me be able to get these videos out to more viewers so I can share the love of freeze drying with as many people as I can. I absolutely love it. I know you will if you want to join me on this fun adventure also. It is time for Brooke's Trivia Corner. What freeze-dried food was eaten on the Apollo space mission? This was the first time that astronauts were eating freeze-dried food. What foods were they eating? There are two. I'll give you a hint. One main food and one dessert type of food. Let me know in the comments what your guesses are. Okay, got my kiddos off to the bus to go to school. I forget that on Mondays, our school starts an hour later. So instead of starting at nine, they start at 10. So we had everybody all ready to go at like 8.15. Luckily the school was kind and realized it's the beginning of the school year and parents don't remember everything. <laughs> they sent a text reminding that today is late start day. So we had another fun hour and a half to kill with the kiddos so I am finally able to get going on my candy run today let me show you what I am freeze drying right now and I am trying a little experiment with it to see if they turn out better for me than they have in the past Jolly Ranchers are definitely a fan favorite when they are freeze dried they puff up beautifully and just like airy crunchy melt in your mouth deliciousness Lately, my Jelly Ranchers have not been turning out great. Like maybe half of the candies on my trays are puffing up nicely and the other half are just like, Bleh. don't do much. So I'm gonna try a little experiment today. I'll show you what I'm gonna do when we are working on our freeze dryer settings. Let me show you how I prep the Jolly Ranchers themselves. To cut the Jolly Ranchers in half, I use this PVC pipe cutting tool. It works wonderfully. You just stick your Jolly Rancher on it snap. Okay, these are very sticky today and they cut in half. Awesome. This is definitely a tool I would recommend if you are someone who freeze dries candy. I will have a link to a similar one in the video description below that you can purchase on Amazon. This one I got at Lowe's and haven't been able to find it online, but they have similar ones on Amazon that will do the same thing. Here are the Jolly Ranchers on my trays. I always cut them in half. If you leave them whole, they just puff up really big and sometimes are too tall and touch the roof of the shelf, which is a pain because then you have to clean it off. <laughs> so I cut them in half and we will see how these turn out. I also spread them out more than I usually do, hoping that maybe with a little more space, they might turn out better. <laughs> we will see. My game plan for the Jolly Ranchers. I am going to try to warm the trays longer than I usually do for this candy. I'm just curious if getting them nice and warmed up will help aid them when they are then being vacuum pumped in the freeze drying process where they expand easier. I'm thinking maybe if they're warm, they will expand better. That definitely was true when I did the Starburst. I will link star my Starburst video here if you wanna see how I did those. I pre-warmed them in the oven and they did puff up more than when I don't pre-warm them. So going for the same concept here, but using my freeze dryer to warm them up instead of the oven. We will see how it goes. As you know, I just like to experiment over here and then give you my opinion if it turned out good or not. If you have any tips for me, I will gladly take them in the comments down below. Thanks. I'm gonna do 150 today. And dry time, I am gonna do four hours. Ah, ah! Whoops, <laughs> a redo. Okay, I wanted four hours for my dry time on this run. That was the only thing that messed up. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna hit start. And then we wait the 15 minutes and get our trays loaded up. After we load the trays is when we can set the warming time. 
Our freeze dryer is ready to go, so I am going to close my drain valve. I'm going to make sure the candy process is marked on. Are we focused? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna load up my trays and then I will show you the warming step. I am hitting continue and warm trays. So I am hitting start and I am gonna add this 10 minutes and just see what happens. So basically what that means is it's gonna use the heating element on the shelves to heat up to 150 degrees and they're gonna sit there for 10 minutes before our vacuum pump turns on. I am hoping that gets them maybe a little more soft and I don't know, hoping that it'll help them expand more. We will find out in four hours what happened in this freeze dryer. So I will meet you guys here. Four hours. While these are still freeze drying, I am going to get my next set of candy ready for my trays so we can do that quick swap out again like we did last time. I keep getting requests for fruit roll-ups. I finally grabbed some when I was at Walmart the other day and so we are gonna do a few trays of fruit roll-ups and then I'm just gonna throw in some other random candy that I have that can go in the freeze dryer. So let's get that packed up. It is a little bit of a process for the fruit roll-ups because you do need to take out this plastic wrapper. So I unroll them. Okay, get out of there. Take that wrapper out and then I just roll it back up. So it's still in the fruit roll up shape. But when you take a bite of it, you're not eating plastic. <laughs> And I actually think I'm gonna cut these in half just so that they're easier for packaging into my candy bag. All right, here's what I ended up with. I got the cut for roll-ups here. On this side, I kind of experimented with some different shapes. I decided to do one full flat one to see how that turns out, a full size regular. I put in my leftover high chews, some saltwater taffy, and our leftover wild berry skittles. That's what's going in our next round. We are just waiting for this guy to finish up so we can do our swap. Candy batch, the center selection is start new candy batch. Candy process is on. I already closed my drain valve. I will warm the trays just for one minute this time. And there they are. I'm unsure what to think about these Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Take a look. Quite what I was expecting, but this is just funny. This is the bottom tray. The bottom usually always does not turn out great for me, but these like half of them popped and half didn't. <laughs> okay, I gotta see what these taste like. I know it's not taste test time, but I need to see what it's like. I want to try these ones that are like half puffed and half not. It tastes good like a Jolly Rancher, but it doesn't, you can't just chew through it. It's the part where it's like darker. It's still like a normal Jolly Rancher. You have to like suck on it. It's like partially freeze dried, partially not. If anyone's got some tips on freeze drying Jolly Ranchers, send them my way. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, these are not sellable, so I just put them in one of my extra storage containers. My children will still eat these. They still are a tasty treat, just not the freeze-dried deliciousness that I am going for. So, I mean, kind of a waste, but not a total waste. They will still definitely get eaten. I now have my other candies going in the freeze-dryer for our last freeze-dryer run of our mini marathon. 
at the end of this run we will come back check them out i will also give you the answer to brooks trivia corner and we still will do a taste test and determine which candy is our favorite we are back and ready to get the candy out of the freeze dryer this one turned out awesome These twisted ones are probably my favorite, but these crunch up so nicely. These are so good. We've got the high chews. Those are looking great. There's our flat square, got nice and bubbly. Saltwater taffy, amazing. And the wild berry Skittles. This run was a home run. And unfortunately, the weather did not cooperate with us today. It is still raining outside so we will not be doing an Alaskan beautiful scenery taste test today but we will run upstairs and do a few candy taste tests with the kids. It is right before bedtime so I'm gonna try to not completely overload them on sugar but we'll give them a little bit and we will try to figure out which one is our favorite. What time is it kids? Taste test time! These kids just got finished with gymnastics. They deserve a little treat, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. That's good. Super good. Okay, I'm gonna have the kids tell us what their favorite free shred candy was that they tasted today. Lincoln? Fruit roll up. Wessie? All. All of them? Uh huh. Bria? Mine was the Skittles and the um, Daffy's. Ah, okay. Mine no. is the fruit roll up today. So good. Are we ready for the answer to Brooks Trivia Corner question of the day? My question was, what was the first freeze-dried food eaten in space on the Apollo mission? I think my question was something like that. The answer was freeze-dried shrimp cocktail and fruitcake. But as I continued to research a little bit more, there was kind of some differing opinions. And it actually said that the freeze-dried fruitcake was not eaten and it was saved and put in a NASA, 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 like space museum. And you can see that freeze-dried fruitcake because you know that really doesn't sound that appetizing but there you go thanks for coming along on my mini marathon of freeze-drying candy over the last two days it was actually super fun I got a lot of candy made we had one fail just one so I mean it's still okay overall it was a success if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Happy to chat with you there. I'm thinking that the next candy video I do needs to be all about chocolate because there are some awesome chocolatey candies that you can freeze dry. Chocolate itself doesn't freeze dry, but can chocolate candies that have freeze dryable ingredients inside of them do and they're so good and fun. So until then, I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.